This is another BRC Beer Trade special. Yes. This one is straight from uh, Peter Capozo, and I, I shouldn't even call it a trade. He just reached out and said, try these beers. He said this one originally, and then sent me like a porch wrecking bomb. <laughs> but this one uh, we actually had when we were in Surly in Minnesota. It is Brett Michaels. It is a Brett IPA in collaboration with McKellar. Glub, 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 glub. If you've never been to Surly, one of the coolest breweries that we I think we went to. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful huge and beautiful. The food was amazing. Uh, great. Just if you're ever in the area, yeah. go, or take a thirteen hundred mile one and a half day road trip. <laughs> I think. I mean, there wasn't a beer there that we had that we didn't like, so I yeah. think we liked this one. But it's been uh, like eight months, so yeah. uh, let's go ahead and get into this and uh, let's review it. All right. Uh, the first thing that pops into my head is oh, uh, it's so refreshing. Victory's Wild Devil. Okay, because it has kind of those same aromas of like an earthy hop, but also like a kind of a pineapple-y kind of fruitiness to it. But then also like that Brett kind of funk. All at the same time, this smells a little more bitter and a little sweeter than I remember uh, Wild Devil. But it has that same kind of profile. And this is like that McKellar touch. Just yeah. those McKellar beers. I only had a few. But everyone I've had has just had that real rustic aroma. Oh, yeah. To me, that's what's hopping out of the glass. is that Brett character. That dry, hay, mm-hmm. sort of like barn yeah. aroma. And I love right. it. It, it seems dry. It seems refreshing. <sighs> but also has the bitterness and the yeah. IPA qualities that we love. Lemon or triscuity yeah. pepper yeah. and yeah. spice. Oh, it's all good. It's all good in this glass. It's all good, but we'll see if it actually transfers over to the taste. Cheers. Cheers. That is that is so cool. <clears throat> when you're talking like a Brett IPA, that's what I want. It has qualities of both. It really um, does. But, but neither really stands out more than the other. It's actually like a really well-balanced Brett IPA. You do get the hay, you do get a little bit of barnyard, but the end is really nice and bitter. You yeah. get some of the earthy kind of floral hops, and it's really dry and drinkable. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, I mean, you really nailed it pretty much on every front. I'm just digging those really nice IPA hop bittering on the end. Yeah. And and it's kind of cool because we in, in recent episodes, we've been sort of struck by beers that are so low to the flavor they become muddled. Mm -hmm. This one is like, it's to me, it started off muddled. I was like, hmm, there's so much happening here, but it sort of unfolds. And like, I'm like, as I'm enjoying each sip, more of it is revealing itself. I I do get some, uh, I didn't get really tropical at the beginning, but pineapple. I guess Brett is becoming more pineapple-y to me than I used to think it was. I don't know if that's a IPA thing or what, but it's definitely a little fruitier towards the end. But really, the the best part of this beer, if you ask me, is how dry it is. I, if this was so sweet, I wouldn't be able to drink it. You know what I mean? The mouthfeel on this is nice, but the dryness allows you to drink an entire you know bomber of this and not really not really feel like it's uh, overclawing. Yeah, I mean, I'm really all about it. I think it tastes great. It's got basically all the characteristics of each style that you'd want, and they really did a nice melding of those styles. Very nice fusion. With that in mind, I actually have a number, but you know the rules. Right. I transition, I throw it to you, and you have to give me your number first. So what do you got, Ron? I'm going to go with just like a really nice, solid, like 94, 95. Okay. I just think it's really, really good. I don't really want a whole lot more out of it. It's like nearly perfect. It's not blowing my mind, but it's super, super just developed and yes. just really coordinated and in sync and it's all good. I almost thought about giving this a hundred mm. because when it comes to this type of beer, this is exactly what you want. You don't want this to be like, boom, you want it to be nice and delicate and light. What's holding me back is that it's a little too bitter in the finish for me. Just to, just like a touch, just a, just a pinch as you say. Uh, and so I'm going to go 97. I really, really enjoy this. I, I would get this as like a standby in my fridge type beer. Um, great for outdoors great for things. everything yeah. all, all seasons everything yeah. so thank you again Peter for sending this one to us it was thank awesome you of yeah. you and you very know cool. we're going to try some of the other ones that you sent us as well yeah, uh, if you ever had this one let us know what you think always make sure that you subscribe to our channel hey we just got over a thousand subs so we're pretty, pretty excited about yeah. that one thank you guys <laughs> uh, and until next time always remember we are the brew review crew we will review a brew for you cheers, cheers. thanks again
Guys, if you like our channel, make sure you check out the website, brewreviewcrew.com, where we have links to all kinds of cool stuff, including our iTunes slash Android slash everything podcast, Brewreview Crew, on tap. So check out the website, subscribe to the podcast. See ya.